Hello folks, just a couple of little uh, A-liner hints, tips, and tricks that I'm doing um, just to show you what I'm doing and uh, I really like this one. This is my new uh, USB charging station. It, uh, it, it plugs into the wall with a regular plug if I'm on shoreline. Um, there's a plug right here where the uh, it's on the same line as the air conditioner and the microwave are so it's a good line and um, maybe you can see it lights up when you plug it in or I have this little inverter that plugs into a 12 volt out car outlet I bought from Walmart and, and it actually has a little charting charging port for USB on the back but um, I can plug this into there's a there's a uh, 12 volt outlet right down there and I can unplug this and plug that into this if I'm just running on solar so that's pretty cool um, it's all it's all right here it's right side of my bed or right side of my table so that I can have all my charging stuff set out and um, I really like it. The display is pretty neat. I'll, let me bring you down to see the display. It has eight ports on the top for various uh, USB. It's straight regular USB. It has this neat uh, display that tells how many amps or volts are going through the wires and when things are fully charged it tells you. So that's pretty neat. The other thing I'll tell you is I'm using these new uh, USB cords. They're a magnet and they attach to a special insert. You, you plug the insert into your, your appliance and um, it just attaches. You don't have to plug it in and unplug it. It just attaches by magnet. Now if you're going to dance around it's going to fall off. But if it's just sitting it works really well. And so all my uh, battery chargers and and camera chargers and flashlights and everything I have is now using these because I only need this one cord and all those other things have um, adapters for USB-C, regular USB, USB micro, uh, Apple, uh, different Apple things. So these are really neat. I got those off of Amazon and they're pretty cheap. I think they were 15 or $20 for four of them. And they come with a dozen different adapters. I'll put the links below. But the nice thing about this type is it's got three um, connections in there. So you can actually transfer data. So if I'm connected to my camera or something, I can transfer data instead of taking the card out and swapping that. But um, this is a pretty neat little thing. I really like it here. And this is another thing I finally did to my A-liner. I've been wanting to do this for a year or better, or three years actually. And um, I've been afraid to do it. And I don't know why, because I can't believe how easy this was to do. But I added lifts to the bed so that I can use the storage space underneath. And I put some fairly heavy ones on there so it actually holds it up. Um, it's uh, just a piece of plywood. One big piece of plywood over the whole bottom of the bed. Took off the boards that were here because there was a set of boards over here and a set of boards over here. And uh, just put in a 3 8 inch of plywood and uh, there's a hinge on the back. Let me, I'll show you the entire deal. Let me get this together, but this is really nice. And uh, it goes up and down, and I still have the slidey thing on it, so I can change this to a different size bed if I want to. But um, it doesn't, it's, it's not, it, it's, it's pretty light, but I don't think it's gonna bounce away as we go down the road. Um, and when I travel, I strap down the bed anyways. I've always strapped down the bed since the 
two times I got into the trailer and the bed was over under the dinette because we'd gone through some bumpy roads. So I've always had a strap over the bed anyway. So this is pretty nice. Watch this. I'll show you what the construction was and uh, how easy it was. All right. Watch this. First thing, of course, was to empty out the cargo hold, which uh, somebody kept filling with balls. As I kept taking things away, I'd come back and there'd be two or three balls in there. So, um, And then we put this 2x4 uh, along the back to help support the, the hinge. And it was butted right up against the cargo door because that was as far forward as I could bring it. And it seemed to be just the perfect distance. Um, I did have to dado the 2x4 came up around that board and then as I got that all set up I put in legs to support that 2x4 to give it extra support again I think it's over engineered um, and actually they're not even connected to anything they're drilled they're uh, screwed from the top down but they're not connected to the floor they're just standing there over the the corner floor molding um, they had to be notched but then a slice of uh, plywood to the back um, coming to the middle of the 2x4 to cover that space up we put in these um, connectors for the uh, air shocks um, struts whatever you want to call them and we installed the piece of plywood and the gas shocks these are the gas shocks that used to be on my uh, trailer on the roof. The uh, We put in a lot of um, number eight screws in the um, hinge. And with the two 40 pound things, it comes up all by itself, no problem. The problem with that is there's like a dragon down there. You just think it's that's a coolest place to stick his ball. Here's his ball. <laughs> He's waiting for somebody to toss it. Now I am putting this piece that slides back on. It almost makes it even. I may have to get uh, bigger springs. But I'm going to leave that on there so I can make the bed different sizes if I want to. And that works real well, still. Okay, folks. It is the next day after finishing the project. And when I put the mattress on here, I the, the lifts I had did not have the strength it needed. So, um, I changed the... I changed the struts to 100 pounders and these are so easy to change you just pull a little wire pin out of them and they come right off um, but I did put on some 100 pounders on each side that's 100 pounders and that's a 100 pounder so it does lift the bed up it doesn't really keep it up very well um, just because it doesn't have the uh, I don't want any more I don't want any more than 200 pounds of lift on it, really. It does lift up and down, as you can see, with just one hand, so it's not a lot of lot of work. I do keep these little things that, if I want to hold it up, that'll hold it up. It doesn't take much power at all, but I did have to do that. And one of the things that happened when I did that, because, of course, when the, this is down, those lifts are compressed. And so that means they've got 100 pounds of force pushing on the uh, plywood. So I had to I had to better mount the plywood in the hinge. Um, it actually pulled the plywood out of the hinge, and I'll show you why. Originally, the hinge was put down with these screws on both the, the bed side and the trailer side. And um, while this piece of plywood was 
anchored it wasn't going to move anywhere this hinge was too close to the edge on the plywood if i hadn't used plywood it might have been better if i'd used real wood uh real a real board and this is only what maybe six and a half inches i think is what i measured but um to make that hinge stay on this piece of wood i nailed it down with uh two inch screws all the way along the hinge these are all two inch drywall screws and they go all the way down into the two by four that this is sitting on so i had to make that uh to make it work and it seems to be working well these screws are uh, all right they're fully into the plywood i made sure the plywood is uh right butted up so as you can see on the end there's not much space between there so the screws are a full um quarter inch three eighths inch into the edge of the plywood all the way down and back and i did put every screw in there so um i guess i ran out of screws but I um, recommend putting every screw in um, so it cannot come out. It needs that holding power. I would also think that maybe some caulk or something would, would be nice, but I didn't do that. I'm not going to take it apart to do it. The other thing I would made the mistake of is that my nice new uh, charging port um, is in the way <laughs> and I could just cut a corner off this board down here so that it clears it but I think it's I'm not going to do that yet I don't have a big bed the size of my bed I can just slide it back so it goes just fine you didn't this is it but you got the new stuff the stuff in there and uh, works pretty nice. So folks, so that's this week's video of uh, A-Liner stuff. If you're interested in A-Liner or small camper projects, um, look at my playlist. I got a whole playlist on uh, camp on, on the A-Liner. It's called A-Liners, but it's really good for any pop-up or small camper or casitas or anything, or even the big ones. I mean, it's pretty easy to do that same bed modification for any camper so um all the all the parts and descriptions are in the comments and i'll have a little more on the write-up in uh, the blog if you've ever never been to my web page lots of things for sale on the web page um parts and toys and things that you might want but uh thanks for thanks for watching uh give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind leave a comment i love everybody who leaves comments and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.